And also, if I didn't say, please turn off your cell phones and, or set them to vibrate, just because that would kind of kill the mood. Okay, our little secret. How's she doing, my husband Ray asked, pressing up behind me as I selected a red velvet cupcake from the dessert option spread out on our neighbor's Chris and Eileen's dining room table. His question sounded innocent, but as his cock nudged my ass, I knew that it was his secret code, a private message meant only for me. Because what he really wanted to know was, how does that butt plug nestled between your ass cheeks feel? Are you ready to go home and let me fuck your sweet little bottom until you scream in delight? Is it making your pussy so wet you're having trouble making small talk? I knew the answer. I knew the code, and the answers were incredible, yes, and oh yes. I was wearing a low-cut black cashmere sweater and a pair of snug jeans that accentuated every curve of my ass. The beauty of a butt plug is that you can wear it out. It doesn't make any noise, and unless someone's twirling it or pushing against it, it does its job subtly but effectively. Of course I could feel it every time I so much as took a step, my ass muscles clenching in response. I'm the type of woman who loves to get fucked in the ass as much as I love to have my pussy penetrated. You could say I'm an equal opportunity kind of gal. But until I'd met Ray, anal sex had been more of a novelty to the guys I'd dated. Something to try once on a lark, a deed to be checked off on their sexual fantasy wish list. They went, didn't want to know about the way I jerked off, lying on my stomach, lubing up a finger and sliding it into my ass, pretending it was a guy's big hard cock pounding into me. But Ray understood it right away. The first time we got naked, on our second date, he immediately buried his head between my legs and got my pussy so aroused I came three times. Stop, stop, I panted. That was almost too good. I can barely breathe. He grinned at me, that same breathtaking smile I get to wake up to every morning. He kissed my slit, then ran his tongue over my clit before kissing his way up my body. I'm not done yet, not by a long shot. That was just a warm-up. You'd better get used to it. I shuddered at his words. I've always loved a man who knows how and when to take control. Turn over, he said gruffly, his voice getting deeper. I moaned and shut my eyes as I turned onto my stomach. His fingers wove through my long blonde hair, giving a sharp tug. I whimpered, tears of arousal rushing to my eyes. I know you like that. Debbie, I know you want to be told what to do, and I'm going to reward you for that. Now I want you to reach behind you and spread those beautiful butt cheeks so I can lick your hole before I shove my cock into it. <coughs> well, his words almost had me coming again. I did as instructed, blushing furiously at exposing myself in such a way, but knowing I wanted his tongue, his cock, all of it, he ate my ass with even more fervor than he'd shown to my pussy, and I knew right then I'd marry him. When he later slowly slid his lubed up cock back there while two fingers entered my cunt, I came so hard I felt like my head was going to explode. I clawed at him, needing to touch him, but he pushed my hands aside. Now when he fucks my ass, he makes sure my wrists are bound, that delicious constriction further enhancing my pleasure. The next morning, he pulled me on top of him and gazed deep into my blue eyes. You're gorgeous, Debbie, but you really don't look like the kind of girl who likes to get fucked in the ass. I wasn't sure what that kind of girl looked like exactly, <laughs> but I smiled at him, the heat once again suffusing my cheeks. It can be our little secret, I said. Ray had taken that phrase and ran with it. He bought me a little red butt plug, one meant for beginners, and told me that this one would be for times we had to go out. In the house, we'd use a fatter one. An anal slut like you won't be satisfied with that tiny red plug for long. But I like the idea of you sitting in the car with it as we go over potholes. I like the idea of guys checking out your ass, because you know they will, and not even having a clue what you've got back there. So far, nobody else has found out. Ray's hand rested on my hip, making my ass twitch even more. I put down the cupcake and leaned my head against his shoulder. He kissed my neck, and I knew we had to be drawing the attention of the crowd. Why don't you tell our host that you have to get home? You've got an emergency to attend to. Just then, Chris walked over. Emergency? What's wrong? I blushed bright red as I looked at him. I knew all about his anal porn-watching habits from Ray, and I also knew his wife wasn't that into it, so he had to make do with his fantasies. Um, the cat. I think she needs us, I mumbled lamely. Chris peered closely at me, surely clocking my hard nipples pressing against the front of my sweater. Uh-huh, was all he said. 
As we walked out, Ray's hand rested on my ass cheek, squeezing it enough to make me moan. For all I know, our friends have guessed my secret, and by this point, I don't really care. I love getting fucked in the ass, and I'm proud, but I still like the ritual of the plug that only Ray knows about for sure. Everyone else can just guess why I have such a big smile on my face. Mm -hmm.